Now, the last remaining speaker of the indigenous Chilean language, Yamana, has died at the age of 93. Cristina Calderon had compiled a dictionary with Spanish translations after the death of her sister, the only other person who could speak the language. Yamana was spoken by the Yagan people in Chile and Argentina. Her daughter said a wealth of knowledge had died with her, taking the culture of her community to the brink of extinction. Well, let's cross to the US now and speak to Ana Luisa De Nio, Programme Director with the Living Tongues Institute for Endangered Languages. They help indigenous youngsters to record and document their elders' traditional languages. Ana Luisa, thank you very much for being with us. Tell us, first of all, a bit more about Yamana. Well, um, Christina Calderon was the last fluent native speaker of Yamana, also known as Yagan, and the people called the language Yagan Kuta. So her passing really has a big impact, um, but she left a strong legacy, and so the descendants can now revitalize this language. Cultures change, grow, develop, evolve, languages with that. How important is language to part of a cultural identity? A language is one of a culture's links to the past, present, and the future. So um, when a language disappears, it can sever that tie. Um, so Christina Calderon's passing um, is very significant because it she was that link to the past, the ancestral past of the Yagan people. Um, so it's very important to preserve languages for future generations. And there's a big difference between extinction due to colonization and just gradual change over time. How many indigenous languages are there in South America and indeed in the rest of the world? In South America, we currently have around 600 indigenous languages. There could have been more that were unrecorded, uh, that could have disappeared because of genocide and warfare and disease and cultural assimilation. Uh, around the world, we have approximately 4,000 indigenous languages. And there are other languages at risk as well that are not indigenous, such as Creole languages and other diaspora languages and sign languages. Here in the UK, we have uh, Welsh, Scots, Gaelic, Irish, Gaelic, which are in generally good health. Why is it that some languages die out whilst others thrive and survive? It depends on the resources and the energy that people put into their languages. Um, so Welsh has a long literary tradition going back to the sixth century. So there's a lot of materials to draw from. And it was in decline for many centuries, actually, until in the end of um, the 20th century, people really started making moves to preserve it, bringing back, bring it back through legal reforms, educational reforms. And you have a huge community of people who identify with their Welsh heritage. Um, so there was a big push to bring it back. And now, you know, Welsh is flourishing, which is great. But that's not the case for all um, minority languages. It's not the case for all indigenous languages who lack the resources um, and the community support and the governmental support to come back. Okay, Ana Luisa Danio from the Living Tongues Institute for Endangered Languages. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you.